finally an episode of this season that I was actually impressed by. So a bit of context for this, if you didn't watch Clone Wars, you might be a little bit confused with this episode because there's a pair of episodes in season two of Clone Wars about a creature called the Zillow Beast. And those episodes are basically an homage to Godzilla. Anyway, the end of that story arc ends with Palpatine telling one of the scientists investigating it to clone the beast. And that plotline never came back. We went the entire rest of Clone Wars without that plotline coming back. I thought they dropped it. I thought Filoni maybe forgot about it until now. Yes, it appears Dave Filoni has been listening to our questions about what that was setting up as that plotline finally continues. And man, this episode is suspenseful. It's everything you'd expect from an episode that's inspired by monster movies. And also, I'm glad there are consequences for Sid's actions during the previous couple of episodes. Yeah, the Batch is pretty mad at her for essentially leaving them to die on the planet they were on a couple weeks ago. And I'm sure we haven't seen the end of their beef with her. It'll be interesting to see what plays out later. And I loved the build-up to the Zillow Beast. They don't show it right away. It's got the classic what's in the shadows method and really plays with the suspense before the big reveal. It really feels like monster movies or alien movies. So good. And it was smart of the writers to have the Zillow Beast be attacking an occupied planet because it gave the episode some stakes. They could have easily had the Beast be on an unoccupied planet and just had the Batch chase after it. But this gave the mission some urgency and danger because there are lives in danger. There are innocent people living in that village. They need to stop the Beast as soon as possible. Now, based on how this episode ends, it seems like we might be getting to see Rex and Echo again next week, and that they'll team up with the Batch to free the villagers that the Empire captured to stop the Beast's existence from spreading. It also seems like there might be some stakes for Omega, because it sounds like the Empire is going to use her as leverage to get the Kaminoan scientists to do what they want in regards to the Beast. Very exciting, very suspenseful episode. I'm super excited for next week. Can't wait to see how this continues and how this plays out. Let me know what you guys thought and how excited are you for next week's episode of Bad Batch.